Senator Jim Inhofe says he would rather get a root canal than serve on the Rules Committee at the 2016 Republican National Convention. But for 112 of the 2,472 delegates to the gathering in Cleveland, it might be the most important assignment they ever have in party politics. The GOP is seemingly on course for a contested convention, and decisions the Rules Committee members make the week before the masses descend on the city could effectively end the process process before Speaker Paul Ryan gavels the convention to order. Each of the 56 delegations from states, territories, and the District of Columbia will appoint a man and a woman to the rules panel. They will likely start with a template from the Republican National Committee, but the Rules Committee could, in fact, send to the floor a set of rules and procedures that are entirely new, throwing out decades worth of precedents in the process. That said, the debate is more likely to center on a more narrow range of thorny issues. For instance, the 2012 convention's rules, rewritten by supporters of Mitt Romney, established that you effectively need to win the support of eight state delegations to be placed in nomination. This year, that would make it likely that only two candidates, outsiders Donald Trump and Senator Ted Cruz, would even be eligible for the first ballot. But there's a conflict. The 2012 rules also seem to require that delegates bound by their states to particular candidates must vote for them. For instance, a delegate awarded early in the primary process to Florida Senator Marco Rubio might still be required to be recorded by the secretary as voting for Rubio. Whatever the 112 rules members recommend must be adopted on the floor to govern the proceedings, and there could be real chaos if a quarter of them decide they disagree. They can issue a minority report, sending an alternate rules proposal to the floor. Delegates supporting various candidates having a knockdown, drag out fight over competing proposals from the Rules Committee on the floor? That would be the real nightmare scenario, and it's why this year all eyes will be on the panel that drafts the rulebook.